Hello and welcome everybody today to Bird's Eye View Golf. We are coming to you from Heron Ridge Golf Club in Virginia Beach, Virginia. It's a Fred Couples signature design and one of my favorite courses in the area. Before we get too far along, I would ask please like and subscribe to the channel. Comment if you have anything that you'd like to see. Share the video with your friends, family, playing partners, even if you don't like them. That really helps us out here and helps me uh, build my network to do more courses and more videos like this. Uh, Freddie did a great job, uh, 14 holes with water on them, uh, using the contours and the undulations of the ground, which is uncommon in Virginia Beach, uh, to really make a special layout. Let's get started on number one, which is a simple down the hill par four. Uh, send my apologies to Mrs. Jenkins. I'm sure I've hit your bay window at least a couple of times with my tee shots. Uh, but not a whole lot of trouble, a fairly simple green complex, a good way to get your round started, get warmed up, start getting the feel for things as you move your way into number two. Number two is the shortest par five on the course and a really good scoring opportunity. Longer hitters will have no trouble carrying the pond and be most likely hitting a mid iron, maybe a long iron into a very Rainer-esque green. Uh, you see the green is almost a perfect rectangle, slopes from back to front, and a really good opportunity to get some momentum going uh, into the third hole. I will say that as you tee off on number three, it is December when I'm filming this. You can see the grounds crew in the bunker down there to the right pumping it out. We did have a big rainstorm, so normally the course is in tip-top shape. Number three is another fairly straightforward hole with a little bit more slope to the green. Um, a little bit more challenge here on your approach shot and your tee shot, but you really start to, to see the teeth of the course on the next hole on number four. Number four is a slight dogleg to the right par four. It always plays longer than the yardage. A big fairway bunker out there, woods and wetlands to the right, and then a very well guarded green complex with a very slopey green from the back right to the front left. Uh, certainly happy to make a four here when you can. And the course doesn't let up after that. Number five is a mid-length par three. You've got to carry some wetlands off your tee shot and then carry a little stream in front of the green, which is a saddleback green sloping from the middle to the front and the back. Always good to make a three here as well. Number six is a, sort of an up and over par four. You've got some fairway bunkers out there on the right and the left and your approach shot to an infinity edge green with a very big lake behind it. Distance control is premium here. If you can keep it pin high, you are gonna have a good putt at birdie and that'll take you right into number seven. And then number seven is a slight dog leg to the left, trouble all down the left side. Your approach shot, you're going to be carrying the wetlands in front of the green as well as that pot bunker short right. The green slopes sharply from back to front and uh, again, four is a great score here. Number eight is another mid-length par three. The water that we're crossing over right now doesn't really come into play. You've got a couple bunkers off the left, fairly straightforward. And then we move into number nine, the signature hole here at Heron Ridge. Beautiful, uh, picturesque tee shot. You've got the lake all the way down the left side of the fairway. Uh, very intimidating second shot, but if you go for it and you pull it off, you are rewarded uh, with a good chance at birdie and possibly even an eagle. You've got bunkers in front of the green uh, to, to guard against layups, and then we're going to make our move to the back nine. We start the back nine uh, very similar to the way that we started the front nine. It's a downhill par four, except this time there's a little bit more trouble here. We've got a very pesky pot bunker in the left center of the fairway, and you also have a pond to the left of the green. And you'll say, ah, that's no way that's in play. I promise, I promise it is. Freddie has again put the premium on distance control with a very wide but very shallow green. Number 11, the start of Birdie Alley is a par five, teeing off through a chute uh, over some wetlands on the left, a very demanding second shot through the elms, through the oaks to a very slopey green. Not uncommon to have a birdie here, but you do have to work for it. It takes two really good shots to get close. 
Number 12 is a Fred Couple Signature. It's a drivable par four. Not a whole lot of trouble. If you can put it down the pipe, you're really looking at a good chance for birdie here. Very fun hole. And after this great little par four, you come to number 13, the pro's choice. A downhill par five, water all along the right, trees all along the left, a harrowing second shot where the layup is no easier than just going for it. So you might as well just rip it and rip it. This is the hole that will keep you coming back for more. The opportunity to score is there and it's just so beautiful. I promise this one is one you wanna play again. Don't get too caught up in the views from 13. 14 is an uphill, short-ish par four with a well-bunkered, well-contoured fairway. You've got another shallow green putting the premium on distance control and a big kidney bean-shaped bunker in front. This hole is followed by number 15, which is a downhill par three that will take all your metal. There are only crushed hopes and dreams to the left, so you might as well go for it. Commit to the shot and you will be rewarded hitting into this peninsular green. And if you thought you were gonna get a break after 15, I've got a news flash for you. Number 16 is another one of the hard par fours on this golf course. Between 16 and four, I couldn't tell you which one's harder. It always plays longer than the yardage. It's uphill. The fairway is narrow. There's not a lot of trouble, but if you don't hit a good tee shot, you're not getting there in two, and it's gonna be a challenge to make four. And number 17 keeps the pedal down. It is a long par three to a massive green. If you don't hit to the flag stick here, it's gonna be a very tough two putt and a very tough par. A couple of beautiful vistas here, just to give you an idea of just how pretty this course is. And then we come to 18, one of my favorite holes here. Well bunkered, look at all the contours and undulation. Fred just did a great job. It's not a difficult hole, it's not a long hole. And if you play it well, you're gonna be coming back to this golf course looking for more because it is just so much fun, it's beautiful, and it's a hidden gem of Virginia Beach. Once again, I can't thank you all enough for being here, watching the video. Please share, please like, please subscribe. If you wanna see something else, if you wanna sponsor a video, if you want me to come to your course, drop me a line, post a comment. I promise I will get back to you. Thanks again. We'll hope to see you here soon.